mom, girl, I got things to do, okay? Okay, so before I get started, I need to moisturize my face and declare the fact that I am wearing a towel. I'm not butt-ass naked. I mean, I could if I want to because it's my video. <laughs> First is going to be hydration or just moisturizer to my face and I'm going to be using L'Oreal Paris Hydrogenous. Um, I go through moisturizer like crazy. I put it on before every makeup application after every shower which is like once a week. I'm kidding. Kinda. I'm nasty. It's pretty watery like liquidy. Um, I love it though. Oh my god you guys it smells so good and it feels amazing on my face. It is so thin like water. It feels like I'm literally putting water all over my face. And now for the star of the show, this is CoverGirl's Vitalist Healthy Elixir Foundation with Vitamins. This has a broad spectrum FPF, SP, bleh, broad spectrum SPF 20, um, and it is in the shade 742 Medium Beige. Hopefully it looks good on me. It has a pump, which is amazing. I love foundations with pumps. Um, I love any products with pumps, lotions, um, shampoo, conditioner. I'm a pump girl. I like to pump it up. So just using a couple of pumps to the back of my hand, I'm going to go ahead and apply this to my face. Um, yeah. As far as the scent goes, it smells really pretty. Kind of like a pretty hairspray. I don't know if that's good or bad. But there is a scent to it. I noticed it as soon as I put it onto my face here. It smells really good though. I don't know. It smells almost like... I can see where the, the vitamins come from. I can. That's probably what I'm smelling. You know those capsules that you'll break into your hand and then put it all over your face? That's exactly what it smells like. It's very perfumey in its scent, which is unlike any of the other CoverGirl stuff that I've ever used. Okay, so far the color doesn't look crazy. It's actually fits really nice. As you guys can see, it now matches the rest of my body. My face is usually super duper pale and lifeless looking before I start putting on my makeup because I do protect it from the sun. Okay, now for it being a product that has SPF in it, it does not leave like a white cast on my face. I don't feel like it's sticky or thick or greasy like a sunscreen would feel on your face. So as far as the color payoff, I really like it. It is a medium coverage. It's not too thin and it's not too heavy, but I hope we can build on that. I do have a lot of sunspots, age spots, freckles in this area here that I'm always trying to cover up. So, so far, so good. I really like the color. This definitely has to be one of my favorite formulas from all of the CoverGirl foundations. I tend to use more of Maybelline's products as far as the face goes, but this is so thin. I, well, as I'm talking, I forgot that it was even on my face. That's how thin it is. My skin feels like it could breathe. Um, as far as the coverage goes, it is, I would say it is more medium to full coverage than it would even ever be considered light. Or um, really thin. I suppose you can put a, a thinner coat on but I just don't see the color working on a light coverage basis. As far as um, the finish goes there is a little bit of a dewy finish but I wouldn't consider it dewy more like a satin finish but I really like the color. I'm actually super duper impressed. I typically use Maybelline products in the drugstore. I have been really liking number seven as well. If you guys are looking for um, products that have more age defying, um, you know, uh, formulas or ingredients, I would go with number seven. I tend to gravitate towards uh, more Maybelline stuff because the color matches like on point, but this one's actually really, really, really nice. So, I don't know, so far so good. We're gonna see how the other products that I lay on top of this will work. Hopefully it doesn't start to separate or break down sooner than I really want to because I actually 
I'm obsessed and I kind of like the fact that it only took me one bottle, one shade to get the right match. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to apply one more coat or one more layer to my freckle zone and see if it will double up. Fantastic, you guys. I'm telling you, it layered on just fine. It did not move. There's no creasing here. I'm very, very happy with this consistency, with the formula, with the coverage. It's amazing. So definitely buildable. You can see they're all gone, and it's a lot brighter on this side than it is on this side. It only took me two pumps to cover my entire face. So I am so happy with this payout. I absolutely love applying my liquid foundations with a moist blender like this one here from Real Techniques. You can use whatever you want. Let me know how it worked for you guys in the comments down below. We can help each other out there. If you guys have used a Scylla sponge, a flat brush, a Kabuki brush, anything, paintbrush, fingers, <laughs> <laughs> whatever you do or whatever you use to get it onto your face, let us know how that worked out for you guys down below. It might not have worked out in that um, way, so let's help each other there because I can only, you know, help you guys out with one um, each time I do these reviews because I, I'm, I'm a mom girl. I got things to do, okay? But so far, so good. It looks absolutely amazing. I'm going to go ahead and finish the rest of my face, and I'll join you guys back in a second. Oh my god, I cannot wait to put lashes on right now because I feel like a sexy frog. Um, but so far, it it's like amazing. And then I also wanted to give you a perspective of how it looks on my face in natural lighting as well. So, um, I obviously forgot to film the intro and the outro to this video because I don't remember what I was doing on the day that I actually recorded this video. But obviously I was so busy that I forgot to do my damn job. <laughs> Sorry about that. Um, but this is what the packaging looks like. It's a chunky glass bottle. So be careful I don't drop this bitch because it will break. I really, really do love the formula. It's non-sticky like I had mentioned in this video. I do want to swatch um, a little pump. Well, shit, now I have to do my makeup because, well, oh, whatever. I feel like I just wasted, I just put gold on my hand and I wasted it. But it's really creamy, and as you can see, it is super, super pigmented. Um, it is really strong, so if you're sensitive to scents, I probably wouldn't go with it. But to me, it didn't bother me. It smelled really, really good. Um, as far as it breaking down, it broke down around um, hour 10. I would want, I want to say hour 10, especially around my nose. It starts to separate. Um, I wish I had footage of that, but you guys, uh, if you're watching this, you probably know exactly what I'm talking about. Um, if not, you can probably Google search breakdown of foundation and you'll see it. It's not cute, but like I said, it's hour 10. So if anything, I would probably have to retouch my nose area. I mean, other than the normal tear and wear of your makeup period throughout the day, so if you blow your nose, if you have allergies like me, you're going to see more breakdowns or more separations or more thinness of the wear of your foundation around that area, duh. But other than that, I cannot complain about how it wore. It wore so nicely. I actually got a compliment from one of my sisters. And you know how that goes, girl. Your sisters are like, they hold back sometimes especially mine, but I'll take the compliments. So just letting you guys know that this foundation is amazing. So if you guys have any questions or if you've experienced good or bad things about this particular foundation, let me know in the comments down below. Let's help each other out there. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know if you have any other foundations you would like 
me to review in the comments down below as well. Don't forget to like, share, and also subscribe if you have not already. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye!